first review I put any amount of effort into. And it's this shit again. God damn it. Lesbian Zombies from Outer Space is a 2015 sci-fi horror comedy from J. Galt Miller. An author I honestly don't know anything about. He's written some other comics, but I haven't read them. Going into it, I figured this would either be awful or a weirdly brilliant parody. And I wasn't a fan. And judging from the cover alone, it looks like it's made for people who probably look like this. To be fair, I never even finished the first issue, let alone the whole series. And judging by the author's Twitter, it seems like he makes these sorts of comics on purpose. Sort of a parody of old sci-fi horror B-movie films, a genre I admittedly have little experience in. Some exceptions. With that said, I'm willing to give it another chance. Who knows? Maybe it's actually really good. So let's get some lotion and a bonnie blue flag and check out Lesbian Zombies from Outer Space. Okay, admittedly, I don't own either of those things, so I just got a frozen stick of butter in my father's underwear. It's the best I can do. Somewhere near Venus to- oh god damn it! The first page isn't even over. And I already remember why I hate this. So we see two astronauts who clearly take their jobs very seriously. Looks like you girls could use a hand. Then the ship crashed and they died. It turns out this is all just a porno some dipship named Ace is watching. Dude, you live in the golden age of internet pornography. What the fuck are you doing watching it on a VHS tape? So his boss makes him go back to work where he gets into an argument over... a porn collection? Does this actually happen? Do people really collect porn like they're comic books? Besides this guy. You've got a good eye for porn, Ace. I'll give you that. Well, I think we found our new out-of-context comic book line. So Ace gets a call from some guy about an upcoming threesome. As one does. So we got the Velma and Daphne in the woods having sex. Velma isn't very good at it. We need to check that out. Or don't. So we cut back to Ace wanting to film the threesome. This man will die alone. If only every woman were a lesbian. Spoken like a true virgin. Like I wanted to talk. So Velma and Daphne find a glowing naked woman in the woods. Great. Lesbian E.T. Cut back to Ace, or I mean Wally, trying to find a video camera to film the threesome on. And I'm not gonna lie, that's a little funny. Cut back to his friend and oh wow. Wow. Rose petals? Fucking rose petals? So you're saying a naked woman fell from the sky. Was she hot? Chicks, bro. So for some reason, the cops don't believe Velma's story of a magical glowing space lady falling from space and turning her either roommate, stepsister, or best friend, I don't know, some weird porn setup into a lesbian. What did you think would happen? Cut back to the world's saddest threesome, which isn't going well. Eh, could have been worse. Could have been that blood orgy scene from the sadness. Anyways, Wally manages to escape. The two plots finally merge when Wally meets Velma at the police station. I've got it all here on tape. Oh no! Useless! It occurs to me that this might be really stupid. Also, I'm kind of confused as to how this whole virus thing works. Does it turn every woman into a lesbian? Or were there just a lot of lesbians in this town to begin with? Anyways, the first issue finally ends with Wally and Velma going off to die virgins another day. And I'll admit, this Captain Hammer ad at the end is kind of funny. And that ends Lesbian Zombies from Outer Space.
issue one. Don't worry, there's another six issues in the series I will definitely cover.